Hello, everyone. Previously on T Man 978, I have finally, after six years and a couple months, crossed the 20,000 subscriber threshold. T Man 978, chill review. Hello, everyone. T Man 978. Right now, I'm going to be taking a look at Fortnite Legendary Series 8 Ball. This is a six inch action figure from the company Jazzwares. If you don't know, these Fortnite skins or Fortnite characters are pretty much blank slates. They don't really have any personalities beyond what you can make their personalities be based on what they look like. But um, yeah, let me get them out of the box. All right, what I just said isn't completely true. Some of them have a little bit of a personality in a game, but it is, you have to dig to find that personality. But anywho, when I saw this, I was like, I have to own this dude. He looks really cool. And if you've seen any of my prior Jazzwares Fortnite figure reviews, this thing isn't changing anything up too much. It has the same, pretty much same limitations and good things as the other ones. One thing interesting, this is something that a lot of people hate. He has a molded in gun right there but he comes with three freaking guns and two swords so you can't complain too much just like this molded in knife that's just aesthetic flair speaking of flair here is his back bling which is just that i guess his glider and other things would be stored in there you get the med kit that once again, you have the holes right there. You can, you're not supposed to put the fingers in it, but you can like shove the thumb up in there so that he can grab it. You can hold it with, by putting the, the two thumbs in there. That's the best way to do it. It doesn't open up. Here's his two swords right here. And this pattern is like reversed. Like it's going, it's the same pattern on both sides, but it's like, flipped basically and you see the blade is more visible the silver part of the blade is more visible on this side both of these are shaped exactly the same it would have been nice if you could like i did kind of wedge it underneath for there that's one easter egg that these things have but it's kind of hard to get both of them under there if it's just the one you're good to go but it would have been nice if they they came up with some type of way for you to hold the weapons on the back, but they're slavish to the actual video game design, so they're not going to go outside of that. Anywho, his hands can wrap around these swords. Mm, not the greatest, like the, my main complaint is the grip on these things. I wish the hands had like I wish they came with static hands. I do like these posable hands for certain poses without weapons, but I wish they came with static weapon holding hands. And from what I hear, you can pop these out and replace them with Marvel Legends. So yeah, he does hold the swords better than some of the other characters. So that is good. His guns, he comes with this one nicely painted as you can see then he has like this shotgun and then you have this thing this grenade launcher so three options grip on the shotgun is decent there you go with that two hands are better than one so there you go the grip on this is good there is no finger grip right there so once again, I would suggest rotating things the way you need it so you can get the other hand on there. Same deal with the rocket launcher. I know they want to be slavish to the game designs, but definitely, definitely put, put something in there to make sure that these don't fall out of the hands. They are weapons-based action figures. But anywho, let's get into this articulation. 
the head. It can look up a lot. Look down, not much. There's no wiggle. I don't know. I think these are in their Star Wars, Star Wars style where it's probably a mushroom pig and not a ball joint. So, yeah, popping these off the, the neck, I, I think I would break it. Shoulders, they have these hard ratchets. Which helps with making them stay into a pose, but actually being able to pose them smoothly, it makes it very difficult. The butterfly joints, once again, barely useful. They sculpted this right here into a way where it should be more useful, make it come straight at least. But when you start rotating the biceps like across the chest, then that's when you're going to have a problem. The double hinge elbow right there. And all the wrists go, well, there's only two hands. Wrist goes in and out like that. And of course, rotates in. The hands open up like they do. So like I was saying, depending on the pose, like if they were on a glider or something like that, go hoverboard. You can put the hands into some neat looking poses without the guns. Torso, same as ever. Stiff back and it comes forward a little bit more than your typical one. So maybe they are changing the sculpt a little bit, but that's still not a strong ab crunch. You, and it's a post going down into a socket. So this Ab section is really just a cover, but you can make it rotate. Legs do a lot of split. Kick forward, mm, less than 90 degrees. You get the thigh swivel. Double hinge knee. That's looking like, wait, let's do it like this. Eh, mm, that's not a deep bend. You get boot cut the ankles go back a lot they barely come forward and the way it's cut it's one of those swivel ankles where that ankle pivot is just gonna look ugly because here's the front of his boots but you can twist it because of the boot cut so you can get it but if you pay attention or look at that it's going to aggravate the crap out of you because now the boots are backwards. <laughs> Maybe I can completely rotate it backwards to make it kick forward. Yeah, mm, not really. Strong things. I like the way it looks. I like some of the posability, but I hate this ankle pivot. The diaphragm is weak, but you can tilt side to side. I didn't feel that and rotate up here. Butterfly is weak, and I wish he had a better grip on those guns, but you should be able to. Oh, yeah, this stuff isn't connected to his legs, and the belt is separate. You should still be able to get him into your poses if you, if you try. Here he is next to X-Lord, classified series Snake Eyes, Cobra Island Roadblock, Cobra Commander, Storm Shadow, Master Chief, and that's going to be it. Um, yeah. He's cool. His articulation is frustrating, though. I still like the way he looks, and he should still be able to get into some cool pictures up against your whatever you want to put him up against your other six inch action figures, because these things are all basically roughly six inch except their brawler type that i just found out they have a brawler type that are 30 bucks and they are huge anyway thank you for watching this until next time t-man 978 out of here join the syndicate toy hunters facebook group link in the description click click the videos click the fucking videos baby click Click the videos, you should really click these videos, click, click.
the videos, click those in the videos, baby, click, click the videos, you really should click those videos, click that shit.